Greetings, Golden One. I wanted to do a video respectfully pointing out what I perceive to be a flaw in your thinking. Uh, perhaps give you a new, glorious perspective. Fit, formidable, and fantastic. First, I wanted to say that I really like your channel. It is honestly one of my favorites on YouTube. Uh, you are very inspiring, you are an absolute beast in the gym, and your content is very entertaining and fresh. But here is where I need to get critical. Going by your videos, I, I know you're not a vegan, um, nor are you even a vegetarian. Good old red milk. Classic bodybuilding tuna. Uh, so here is my Big Mac. But you do recognize the importance of a meat-free diet. Today, it's time to make some veggie gains. Do you know why? Do you know fucking why? Because it's not sustainable for ne modern nature that everyone is supposed to go eat meat all the time. And to illustrate the point, you know what happens in, let's take for example Brazil. They chop down the Amazonas forest to make room for grazing lands for the cattle. And then also add to the transportation costs and everything that goes around with the meat industry. And it's a dirty fucking industry. So if I have the choice, I would eat as much veggies as possible. Now obviously I won't be a vegetarian. But I will try to incorporate more protein sources from vegetarian sources. Given you recognize the impacts on the environment, and given that you admit the meat industry is a dirty fucking industry, as you put it, why not put your foot down and cut meat out entirely and stop supporting the industry? That would be the glorious choice. And if you are some sort of fucking barbarian who says like, Oh, I don't care about the animals, I don't care if it's vegetarian. You're a barbarian. And only I, since I'm a demigod, I'm a fucking demigod, can decide what's glorious and not. So don't be one of those guys who thinks it's unmanly to eat vegetarian. You obviously care for animal welfare, and you recognize that anything less is actually barbaric. You even made this comparison of yourself to vegan gains. We're obviously both into lifting, and gaming, and the well-being of animals. The well-being of animals. Well, let's explore that thought. See, I'm not a vegan, but I'm all for animals being treated nicely. And in America, or in the rest of the world for that matter, yeah, you kind of treat animals like shit. And uh, for a Norseman, that is horrendous. I can tell you like this. If you, back in the day in Sweden, in Scandinavia, like from, from the Viking Age or Medieval Age or just, you know, a uh, hundred years ago, if you would mistreat animals the way you can see from some of these American food industry documentaries. Like you would get dragged out in the street and be surrounded by men and women and with a fist you would be punched to fucking death if you would disrespect animals that way. No question about it at all. That is fucking barbarity. It is nothing to do in Sweden. If I were American I would probably have a lot more focus on that as well. Now in Sweden we have always had a healthy respect for animals. And now you say like, oh, but the animals are gonna die either way, and we're so superior to them. Yeah, they will die, and I will still consume dairy products, but that doesn't mean that we can't treat the ni cows nicely. I've brought up in the countryside, I know that cows in Sweden get treated nicely, because the farmers are decent fucking folk. And also the meat industry is really decent in Sweden. First, there is no such thing as ethical slaughter. There is absolutely nothing ethical about taking or paying someone else to take an innocent sentient life merely because you want to consume it or utilize some component of it. Furthermore, it appears there are some Swedish farmers that actually need a little bit of that medieval Swedish punching treatment that you spoke of. <coughs> After completing an 18-month undercover evaluation of 16 facilities, Sweden-based Animal Rights Alliance is calling on the national government to ban mink farms. Videos show hundreds of the clever, beautiful wild animals that normally spend much of their time in water being imprisoned in crowded wire cages. The animals display neurotic behavior, such as repetitive motions without purpose and even cannibalism from mothers to their young, as well as litter mates eating one another as a symptom of their extreme stress. The animal activists further reported that sick and injured animals received no treatment and dead animals were left in the cages with living ones. <laughs> De här grisarna de trängdes och försökte komma undan den skitiga boxen. 
Cementgolvet i de trånga boxarna täcks snabbt av avföring och urin. Och trots att de ska städas dagligen fann aktivisterna farmer där grisarna tvingades vada, sitta och ligga i sin egen avföring. På 95 procent av de besökta farmerna fanns skadade eller sjuka djur. Riv- och bitskador var vanligt förekommande och de hade i flera fall utvecklats till infekterade sår och bulder. De små kultingarna får ofta skavsår av att ligga på den hårda betongen. En del farmare försöker förebygga detta. Inte genom att ge rikligt med strö, utan att istället tejpa benen på kultingarna. I wouldn't call that a healthy respect for animals. That is no better than the animal abuse committed elsewhere like in the US. I think it's time that you'd want to reconsider your focus. Now, as for the dairy you consume. That dairy isn't harmless. A cow needs to be forcefully impregnated by sperm extracted from a bull held captive elsewhere. The cow eventually gives birth and calves are removed from their mother immediately. They do not want the baby drinking its mother's milk. Nope. That milk is meant to be prepared and sold to human consumers for a profit. The only fucking way that you can truly stand for the well-being of animals, which you advocate, as I have demonstrated, is to go vegan. To stand in solidarity with vegans, to give animals a voice where they lack one, and set an example to your followers, your viewers, who are inspired by you. Put your foot down and stop your support of exploitative industries. One person may not change the world, but one person can refuse to take part in that which he or she deems to be reprehensible. And you most certainly can be big and strong as a vegan. I come from a bloodline of Celtic warriors. I am a blood descendant of Cormac McCarthy, the King of Munster, who aided Robert the Bruce at the Battle of Bannockburn in 1314 to help Scotland fight for their independence from Britain. I say this because I know you take great pride in heritage and honoring your ancestors. Did you actually know that the gladiators were apparently vegan? When they found a gravesite about 200 square feet, and in that gravesite they found 60 gladiators. And they analyzed these gladiators. In this case, they looked at the bones of the gladiators, and they looked at the mineral content, and they found they had a, a low zinc, high strontium content which indicated that their diet was very, very, very vegetarian. In fact, they called it vegan, the gladiators. And they compared them with people that were buried outside and who weren't gladiators, and of course, they found, they found their diet was a bit richer. What this confirmed was something that had been written throughout history, and you can find in many stories of gladiators of the past, is that the gladiator lived on barley. In fact, they called the gladiator the barley men. Now think about it for a minute, your job is to fight and kill or you die. So are you going to make the effort to be as efficient as possible? Of course you are. And so the gladiators, they lived on the most efficient fuel that made them the strongest and the best fighters of, uh, that they could possibly be. So will you go vegan? Will you give it a shot? I urge you to respond and let me know.